Hi there, I'm Levana Fame. Welcome to Baldur's Gate 3 Full Release, episode 105. Okay, so yeah, I have been looking around at the armors since you reminded me that Kelly, I can actually wear medium armor now. Yeah, I, it didn't, it didn't enter my head at all. But I did get some medium armor for Jahira. I still think that I should give that to Jahira because it has disadvantage on stealth checks. But, yeah, looking at it, I could swap out what she's wearing and see if that helps Kelly at all. Although, it limits her dex bonus, and her dex bonus I'm is really high. Well so I don't think it would actually increase anything. But we'll see. We'll see. Let me guess, you need something. <laughs> Let's just give this to Jahira. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah, we like that. We like that, Jahira. Okay, and let's send this over to Kelia. Armor class 19, you sweetie. Don't give up now. Okay, your armor class is also 19. So, how about now? Still 19. Okay, so it doesn't, it hasn't changed anything. It hasn't changed anything. So if if I want to wear medium armor, it has to be at least armor class 16. Yeah, okay. Well, in that case, let's see if it has anything that's armor class 16. What do you need? It also needs to not be a disadvantage on stealth checks. Okay, breastplate plus two, armor class 16, medium. It doesn't impose disadvantage on stealth, that's good. Medium 16, disadvantage on stealth, yeah, no. Okay, well that'd have to be a breastplate then. Okay. So we'll see what this new armor looks like then. Short father, bless you. Absolutely. He should be really happy that we've arrived. Really happy. Okay. So this should hopefully put her up to 20. Yes, it did. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. Uh. Huh. That's. That's a choice. Okay. Okay, we can make it work. I think. Maybe. Dies. That's what we need. Dies. <laughs> okay. Let's go to camp. Jahira, whoops, <laughs> that's because she, I was, I'd selected her, so of course she appeared where I would, okay. We should probably speak to everybody now. Kind of want to know why she's back. Kind of do. But first, oh, she's in a conversation, okay, I'll, I'll leave that and I'll speak to Astarian instead. <laughs> So much for the cavalry riding to our rescue. Mm. This is what we get for putting our faith in a network of spies, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are you worried about Kazadov finding out your back? Okay. He should be. He should be because those uh, those vampires spawn did see him, and immediately leave but still they must have seen him they must have reported it so theoretically he could be sending people looking for us right now so yes he has reason to be worried really <laughs> right i expected better from the harpers 
But enough about that. I actually came to see how you were doing. The spawn we caught a glimpse of, they could have told Casador that you're back. Are you worried at all? I won't lie. The thought hardly fills me with uh, glee. Even with my newfound advantages, he's still an incredibly powerful vampire. But he's arrogant, too. If he does hear I'm back, he'll try to take me and expose himself in the process. Then I'll be able to strike. Sweet. Absolutely. Uh, you really think you can beat him? I'm not going to ask that. Come on. It does sound risky, but it's worth it. And he's probably going to try, so he's got nothing to lose. Yeah, how would you strike then? We'll go with that one, because he won't be alone. But then again, neither will Astarian. He'll be with us. I mean, hopefully. Unless he just appears and teleports him away. That would suck. <laughs> Better plan than nothing. But how exactly are you going to strike? It's not like you'll be alone with him. <laughs> Neither will I, darling. At least I hope you'll come along for the show. But regardless, the plan is simple. Find him, stop him from gaining almighty power, and then really enjoy killing him. Sounds good. And if I can seize that almighty power for myself, well, all the better. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> And there's no need to put it on so thick, Astarian. You know, you know we're gonna be there. You know we are. Sounds good. Yep. My BFF. We're not leaving him alone. Yes? Okay, okay. You mentioned there might be another way to find Minsk. Well... Earlier, you mentioned Minsk, and how there might be some way of finding him. You want to expand on that? <sighs> there might be, but it's not a path I dread until we must. Let it wait until the city proper. Perhaps I'll have had a better idea by then. I know what it is. She's going to get her rat army to locate Boo, and Boo is going to break him out. <laughs> Assuming that Boo isn't still with him. That's assuming that Minsk is even alive still, but let me have this because it's a funny image. Uh, yeah, let's see what we can ask her. Okay. Fair enough. But look, there's something else I wanted to ask you. Ask it. Um... Okay, we've definitely had those before. Did we have that one before? I really can't remember. We might as well ask. Your harpers have had a pretty poor showing so far. I thought they were supposed to be the good guys. Hmm. I've learned not to unpick the legends so many have woven around our name. Seeing the hope die in a romantic's eyes, it is only funny the first few dozen times. <laughs> Some Savage. call the Harpers heroes. Others, petty meddlers who cannot help but stick their nose into every conflict they stumble across. The truth is in there somewhere. We try to work towards a common balance. <laughs> if every other faction finds us equally annoying, that is probably a sign that we are succeeding. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we're not going to go for number one. We're not going to go for number one. That would be laying it on pretty thick, and we don't. We don't believe that that they're working for the greater good. We don't believe that. So yeah, how how did she end up joining? You sound very disillusioned with them. If you didn't like what they promoted, how did you end up joining? I will not bore you with a long tale. The short. I was born to a high family in Tedir. I remember little except that 
When my family fell, they fell far and fast. Mm. I learned young what fear and hunger make desperate people do. I learned to do some of it myself, even. Until a roving circle of hedge druids found me. They raised me in the wild. Uh, but when it became clear I was uh, perhaps not suited to a life of idle reflection, I was sent to the Harpers. To do. Hmm. They showed me how to fight with sword, as well as spell. And gave me ample causes to wield them for. If I was not always the truest believer in every cause, well... I fell in love with someone who was. And that is almost the same thing. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. I kind of do want to ask about Kelly, but... At the same time, Kelly doesn't really care. Okay, cool, good for you. <laughs> I think she'd just skip over to you and the Harpers have a complicated history, but damn, I want to know. <laughs> I want to know what she'll actually say about him. No, okay. Man, sounds complicated. I'm surprised you stayed with them for so long. <laughs> you might say that. I left their service and swore never to return. Multiple times, if I recall. It is easy to get tired of the intrigue. The high causes shrouded in secrecy. I thought I might find another way to be of use to the world. Mm. And for a time I did. But my comrades would use a rather irritating phrase. A harper never leaves the chorus. She simply goes to spread the song. Meaning that whatever cause I turned my hand to... There I would find them. Harpers. Stuffed with their own virtue, but always there. Always trying to help. So I returned to the fold. Returned to the city. Eventually they hung a title around my neck. High Harper. <laughs> and I still do not know how to play one. If I wanted to spare Geraldus the same headaches, well... You now know why I needed him to be sure this is the life he wants. But you're staring. Which means the tadpole has finally eaten your brain. <laughs> or have I been talking too much? Either way, time to move, no? Cute. Very cute. <laughs> Was I staring? Was I staring with a dead-eyed look or something? Oh, okay. Damn. Well, for that, I will ask about the someone she loved, because it sounds like a tragic tale, and we don't want to move on yet. <laughs> we don't want to move on yet. Well, maybe I was just stuck on the thought of you falling in love. They must have been a saint. Why don't you tell me about them? Hmm? No. Not really. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, foiled, Kellia. Foiled. Alright, and no, we're not going to say that they're working for the greater good. We're just going to discuss something else. <sighs> Fine. Uh, yeah, no. Oh, gosh, we can we can continue asking about the Harpers. No, we're not exhausting that. We, we don't... We don't believe that they're working towards the greater good. We, we believe that they're working towards selfish notions of the greater good. So, yeah, let's just, let's just go. Yeah, I think that's it. And we do need to part ways. Okay. Well, I'm going to need you to stay here. You're sure? I am. Later, then. I tell you not to get in trouble, but I suspect it will find you whether you like it or not. It most likely will, yeah. Okay. Down here. Let's grab Lazel. Orin be damned. Her bloody fingerprints are all over this city. They certainly are. 
Uh, I'm not gonna ask her about the temple. I need you with me, Lizelle. And I hope you're ready for what comes next. It is done. Sweet. Oh, and she's leveled up. Brilliant. Okay. Okay, she's getting a feat. Fantastic. Okay, I think I'm going to give her an ability improvement and we're just going to give her a point in strength and constitution. It puts her up to next level on both of those and she gets a lot more hit points. <laughs> because hopefully next time I might go for a uh, tough to get her even more hit points. Maybe. I've also got my eye on sentinel though, so... Hmm. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. But that's what we're doing this time. Okay. Yep, she's got a very good amount of hit points. And she's got Indomitable. She's become as durable as an iron golem. Whenever she fails a saving throw, she can roll again using the new result instead. Any saving throw? That's awesome. That is awesome. That's like the only, the only things that she's going to get as well. We can't choose anything different, so okay, brilliant. Oh, we are level 10. Okay, good. Sweet. Alright. God, she's almost in triple figures for health. Almost in triple figures. Uh... Her superiority die has increased to a d10, that's lovely, and she's gained two passives. Two passive maneuvers. Well, let's do Commander Strike, because it, it sounds like that could be very useful for people who stay out of the fights a, a lot, so they don't use the reaction all that much. Basically a free attack. And let's give her evasive footwork. We are going to be giving her the Cloak of Displacement, but that only works until she takes damage. So, <laughs> once she's taken damage and that effect is gone, we could use this and get the same, the same effect <laughs> for even longer. Awesome. Okay. Well then. Um, yeah, let's pass that over to Lizel and those gauntlets so what do you actually have oh, underdog's bravery that's right advantage while surrounded by two or more foes that's still that is still awesome um well let's give her the cloak Rather dark, but I'm okay with it. It's fine, Lazel. So, the gauntlets. They have disadvantage on saving throws against her maneuvers and weapon actions. We'll just put Weapon Master on for right now. We should probably change her Sword of Justice. We probably should. By this point. <laughs> By this point. It's still only a plus one weapon. It's just Shield of Faith. It, it could get her armor class up to 20 and that's just... That's awesome. Uh, see, I've, I've equipped quite a few things that will help while she's concentrating on Tia's protection. <laughs> she gets extra psychic damage while she's concentrating. And temporary hit points. Well, we'll give her those gloves. Oh, okay. We can give a blur as well. Let's do that. That could be very cool. That could be very cool. So she's got a lot of things that will impose disadvantage on attacks against her. <laughs> a lot of things. But it's also concentration, so it should it should get this to work. The boots and the rings should work with that as well. So if her armor class is destroyed, <laughs> then we can throw a blur on and have another concentration spell going. 
Oh, we're, our relationship with Lazelle is exceptional. That's amazing. Well, hello. Damn, it's exceptional with Astarian as well. What's My next? gosh. Oh, we're only very good with Shadowheart. I mean, come on. You can't please everybody, I guess. I could really do with getting Asteria and some new boots, I think. It's very useful having him dashing around, but since he's got Misty Step, it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, we're giving her some black and azure. That doesn't look bad. I think it might even look a little bit better than it did. We're gonna try a starium with black and furnace red. Not sure how this will look on this armor, but let's go. Oh, okay, we're going traditional vampire. I, I, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. That looks all right. I just think his uh, neck looks a bit bare now. It looks very bare. But fine, okay, sure. It's good, it's good enough. <laughs> it's good enough. My I'm god, sure I've spent a very long time getting our inventories... Well, less cluttered, I think, <laughs> is all I can say. A little bit less cluttered. I still have a few things here that I should probably send over to Shadow Hat, actually. They're from the, uh, the murderers bedroom. Yeah, I've just been holding on to those in case they end up as evidence. But I suppose if we're not really... My faith will guide me. If we're not going to be um, going to the investigator with our evidence, then it doesn't really matter. But we've got them here. And we've got all of the um, the parchment and stuff that we picked up from his room. So, yeah, I think that's fine. There's, we also have got the true life of Lord Gortash, which we got in the prison, and I don't think I ever read it, so... Okay, the true life of Lord Gortash, a biography and manuscript by Vance Farnall. Outline of contents, final pass. Enver Flim, an orphan among urchins. Struggle for survival on the streets. Juvenile felonies, the Flim rap sheet. Gang Years, The Heapside Reavers, Same Face, New Name, Flim to Gortash, The Gates Posh Kingpin, An Independent Entrepreneur, Rivals, All My Rivals Are Dead, Muscling In On Arms Smuggling, The Zent's Day Is Past, The Black Hand Of Bane, Shakes The Bloody Hand Of Baal, not even everything is enough. An absolutely ingenious plan. The gravitas of Ketherick Thorm. Decapitating the Gondian hierarchy. Call me Lord Gortash. Note, add section about the seal watch with info acquired from interviewing that Gondian who escaped the foundry. Something about how the watchers are Gortash's most powerful defenders, but also his greatest vulnerability since they're all controlled from one central nexus. Ooh, okay, wow. Sweet. Well, good to know. <laughs> Very good to know, okay. Uh, she's, she's also got the clown's severed torso in her, her inventory still. Just because. Uh, did we read The Hell's Unleashed? Cool, but let's send that to camp. That's fine, we don't really need that. Yeah, or his, his confessions either. Oh no, wait, we might need those. We'll leave it. We will leave it. No time to rest. I, I've also given Lizel reaction. the uh, Holy Lance Helm with Smite the Graceless because we've got so many things that are going to stop people from being able to hit her. I thought it might be. It might be really good to have this so whenever they miss, they'll take some radiant damage. I've left the Grimskull helm in her, her inventory in case we want to swap it over. 
But yeah, I mean, all it does is give her resistance to fire damage because the can't land critical hits she already gets from the armor. I've been thinking about giving her this. Just because it, it gives her extra psychic damage just for being a Githyanki. And if we've got so many things that are making her harder to hit, I don't technically need Tia's protection. Okay. So she can have that. The Sword of Justice has served us very well until now. Let's just send it to camp. So she has all of the dis the Githyanki discs that we've found. Still breathing. <laughs> quite everything. Unless any were still in book book, but I don't think, think they were. Forward. And we probably don't need it anyway. Okay, let's speak with everybody else now. Shadowheart. We can't rely on the Harpers. Not when Orin has them infested with shapeshifters. We're on our own. Though, I suppose we're used to it by now. You sure are. Um, <laughs> no, I think we're good. I think we're good here. Let's just talk with Aelin. Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? Be most welcome. Not really. Not really. And she has nothing to say about the Harpers, so I guess she just doesn't care. I suppose it was only Isabel that was with the Harpers, not her. And who knows how long Isabel was with them. Yeah, never mind. Okay. Minthara. <laughs> I have heard much of the cunning and caution of the Harpers. Clearly those tales were exaggerated. Their entire network in the city has been infiltrated and undone by a handful of imposters. Little wonder the surface world is in such disarray if they are among <laughs> its protectors. Yeah, yeah. Gosh. Oh, she's on edge, really? Because of Orin. Okay, her, her terrible backstory with Orin. Damn, we've got a lot of stuff to ask Minthara about. Yeah, things seem pretty dire for the Harpers. But come on, I can see something's bothering you. I'm guessing our run-ins with Orin have left you on edge. I am not on edge. I am alert, as you should be too. Orin could be anywhere, could be anyone. Despite her protestations to the contrary, it is clear that Minthara is afraid. Well, yeah, of course she is. It was to say you're not Orin. <laughs> okay. Uh, we do need to be careful who we trust. Absolutely. I'm not going to try and intimidate her. That seems just silly, to be honest. I suppose we could just say that it's unnerving and ask her what he should do. That would at least give her some way to feel like she's contributing to her own safety. Oh, it's between three and two, I think. Yeah. That is very true. So, I hope you have some suggestions of what we should do about that then. We need to watch over each other. Now, more than ever. Oh, unity. <laughs> unity. Preached from Minthara. That sounds simple enough. We'll be keeping an eye on each other in the city anyway. Is this your first time here? To Bella's Git? Yes. I only know it through history books and hearsay. A city of murder and grief. It is already living up to the legend. <laughs> it is, and we haven't even gotten through the gates. Okay, I don't want to ask her about her home right now. I will just leave. Yeah, and let's talk with Gail. Already feeling better. Even the venerable Harpers are compromised by the Absolute's poison. A grim turn of events, but one we must take in our stride. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's very true. We need to, we need to just take it with a pinch of salt. Keep it in mind, but ultimately ignore it, or we will go paranoid and crazy and... yeah. I suppose I could talk with Withers now. 
Why not? Let's see if he has anything to say to us. Fate spins along no, okay. as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Uh, no, we're good. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well then. I think there's just the kid left, but I'm not that interested. <laughs> I'm not that interested. But fine. What are you doing back here? Um, hi. It's me, Yenna. Ah, okay. You remember me, right? I met you before, and, um, my mum hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Could we maybe stay here? What harm? She's little, won't take up much space, or make much of a dent in our provisions. Really? Really, Shadowheart? No. Come on, we've already been through this. How... Does, does it not have anything to sort of tick off and say we've already had this conversation? Because it should have done it. No. But I don't I care. But, Go um... away. Gosh, we'll have to see. I do feel terrible. I would love to have a cat in the camp. Huh. Okay. Well. I suppose she's staying anyway. <laughs> I would have loved to have had a cat in the camp anyway, is what I was saying. But the child, not so much. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay. Alright. And let's get over to Shiresa's caress. <laughs> Okay, so this is Shiresa's caress as well, isn't it? Doesn't matter. Okay, never mind. We'll just go in here. Oh no, wait, that might actually be a different place completely. I can't tell yet. Yeah, that's probably a different place completely. Okay, well, let's get in there. Anything good? An oasis of pleasure. Yeah, okay. I'm not suspicious, I'm just really suspicious. Okay, she's human. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, we got some fists and named people here. Barmaid. Barkeep. Just regular citizens. Ah, okay. And Valeria. But no, no gift Yankee. Maybe all the way back here or up. It goes up. Oh my gosh. This is huge, isn't it? <laughs> it's absolutely huge. Um No, okay. Nah, they're not even not even down here. We're gonna have to go all the way through. Well let's hope that the uh Ma Mamsel Amira can tell us if uh, the Githyanki have checked in or anything. A weary traveller battered and bruised. You come for sustenance. No decadence. A mien cool as ice, yet eyes burning hot. Oh yes, I know your bliss. Does she? A sturdy dwarf, a leather whip, she gives, you receive. Or have I misjudged you? Uh, I definitely don't think she's into whips. Sorry, hon. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you're way off, I think. I just want to know if the Gith Yankee has arrived. Um, yeah, no, you're way off. I mean, I don't mind leather, but a whip? No. I'm afraid you've definitely misjudged me. Am I? Your eyes tell a story, sweeting. You crave more than pleasure. You crave penance. 
It's Fionn you seek, our stern librarian. She isn't here today, alas. Your penance must wait. Well, we've other ways to fill your void. A drink Fionn. for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. Uh, the stern librarian, Fionn. That's... That's the dead woman. Pretty sure that is the dead woman that we found in the flop house. The mother of the um the murderer. <laughs> wow, she worked here. She worked here, but she lived in the flop house just across from it. Interesting. I'd have expected her to have had a permanent place here if she was a worker, but okay. Oh, we can tell her, <laughs> we can tell her, yeah, that the uh, Fion is dead. Why would we say it was fresh killed? We don't know it was fresh killed. And that just makes it sound like we killed her. But you know what, we're going to ask anyway, we might as well. Fion. Now that does ring a bell. I've just come from the flop house opposite. And Fion, they're dead there. The same person, I'm guessing. Murdered! Ye gods, the poor thing! Oh, by the mother of cats, I pray she didn't suffer. I'll miss that face. Else, the regulars will miss her more. They swarmed her like honeybees at the hive. Oh. Losing fields slashed a big hole in my coin purse. I should get to replacing her. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, look. That is very fast. That's very fast. But she does she is running a business here. Really? That's it? I mean, her body's not even cold. Isn't it insensitive to move so fast? Sweeting. This is Baldur's Gate. I've seen more murders than a butcher's right eye. There'll be time for tears. Cruel as it is, I must turn my mind to business, or more precisely, the lack of it. Okay, well. <laughs> I could ask for a reward. Somehow I don't think so. Somehow I don't think so. She never asked me to look for Fionn. Right, well. About other matters. Hmm? Ah, okay. We're only these are only options for uh stuff. No thank you. <laughs> no thank you, we're good. Although we do have something to trade, possibly, so let's have a look in there. Some gold, autumn crocus, an ink pot and a quill. Uh okay. I would like some autumn crocus. <laughs> Why not? Um, oh god, I'm on barter. Hang on. Just buy the autumn crocus. There we go. Alright, I'll leave you to it. Okay. Definitely not someone we need to speak to. Those are the finances. We can at least read those, I guess. Uh, spendings, 20 casts of Gulthamaran Reserve, 200 gold. Wow. 10 casts of Happy Gnome Brew, 100 gold. 10 casts of Higher Spirits, 300 gold. Groceries and Butcher, 500 gold. Massage Oil, 50 gold. Leather Treatment, 10 gold. Marie's No Consequences Oil, 50 gold. Salaries, 400 gold. Total, 16, 10 gold. Incomes, food catering, 300 gold. Drinks, 400 gold. Hospitality, 1,000 gold. Total, 1,700. Okay, wow, they are, they're only making 90 gold. Is that... I'm assuming that's a week or a month or something. 
Almira, dearie, we need to find a replacement for our stern librarian. I hate to do this to us so fast, but we are this close to bleeding all of our savings. And we need to bulk up before this little crisis chases away all of our regulars back into their own sheets. We could ask the twins to work separately for now, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, okay. Wow. Well, let's have a look at the blackboard. Apologies, but the stern librarian is away. Upon her return, she expects clients on their knees, a list of their transgressions ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh dear. Well, no, that's definitely not what we need. Uh, I wonder if this one would be different. Try Hoots Hooch now. A once in a lifetime booze extravaganza. Sweet, okay. And Corilla, what do you have to say? Damn, Hoots! That new batch burns stronger than a pit fiend's fist. I'll take that as a compliment. Take it however <laughs> you want. But I'll be having my usual from now on. Oh. All right. It's Raphael's favorite misadventurer. You've put me out of pocket, you know. Raphael bet me five soul coins you'd reach the city in one piece. He rented a room upstairs in the hope that you'd drop by. Um, uh, okay, we don't exactly have that kind of relationship. Who are you? Yeah. Really, you know, Raphael? Who are you? Ah, oh, I forget we've never met. I've had my eyes and ears on you so long we feel like old friends. Oh dear. <laughs> Carilla is my name. I'm Raphael's... Assistant, shall we say. Take your time. Have a drink. Sample the goods. Go see him when you're feeling refreshed. All right. Interesting. Okay. Deal with the devil. We found Raphael's servant, Carilla, on the ground floor of Charesse's caress. She told us her master awaits us on the top floor. Well... Interesting. We just can't seem to get away from Raphael, can we? Uh, the High Harper. Uh, Dan Thelen told us the Harpers are waiting for us below his shop. The Harper rendezvous turned out to be a trap laid by doppelgangers. We should see what Jahira wants to do next. Jahira's Harper rendezvous turned out to be an ambush by doppelgangers. She revealed that she was hoping for information on an old friend who was taken by the cult, Minsk of Rashomon. She will seek out new ways to find him once we reach the lower city. Okay. Well, that's fine. Okay, we're still... We just need to find this guy, and he's definitely in Charesse's caress. Yeah. He's definitely here somewhere. Let's talk to the fist. You're looking parched, sweetheart. Another tankard? Hell, oh, Stalin. Another sip and I'm like to spill over. My like other anchor in for spicier flavours. How about you give me a taste? Um, okay. What'd you say, doll? Have a sit on my lap. Let's see what pops up. Darling, how you set me a quiver. You are a beast among men. No, a dragon, setting my phoenix nest aflame. <sighs> I shall slake your thirst, dragon. You will part your lips and uh... drink of my essence. Oh, I will drink your essence. Hoots, order up! Another tankard for the fist! Well, she's good. She is good. <laughs> that poor guy, he's getting so sauced. He's getting absolutely sauced. And he's definitely a human. <laughs> okay. A wood elf. Sweet, okay. Yep, okay, we're good. Everybody here is is who they say they are. Oh. And we've got a cat. Kira the cat. Oh. 
an actual cat. Level one beast. Okay, okay. Probably not someone wild shaped then. Uh, Hoots, let's just talk with you. Now, that there's a face I'd remember if I'd seen it. Welcome to Charesse's Caress. What can Hoots do for you, stranger? You got a taste for ale, I reckon. Or maybe. <laughs> ah, forget it. My new brew could drop you in the wink of a spectator's eye. Oh, okay, very clever. I, I'm sure it probably could. Besides, I'm not going to be drinking when I need to go and meet the gif. Okay. Well, I can I can try a rogue option. Jobs. Can can I actually get jobs from this place? Rumors. That sounds good. But anything that with details. Okay. I'm sure it could. But look, I'm actually in the market for a bit of information. You know how it is. Rumors. Jobs. Anything you've got details about? I want to hear. Oh, you're one of those types. Rude as you are sneaky. Okay. My business is slinging tankards, not hoarding secrets. I'd like to keep it that way. But you poke some folk hard enough, they're bound to squeal. And Mamzelle Amira there looks about ready to burst. Really? Really, really, really? Okay, but I'm assuming that's just because she's waiting for the librarian to come back. Uh, sure. Oh, I didn't mean to come off as rude. So, uh, what's the story of this place? Charesse Caress, the Mamsel's brainchild. Wet your tongue, soak your skin, scratch your itch. Get the attention you want and avoid the attention you don't. Okay. Well, let's see what she's got. Um, looks like they'll both be the same thing, but sure, show me what she got. All right. Well, let's see what you've got then. You got it. But the new hooch is off limits. Can't have the mams all leaping down my throat if I go burning yours. I've got fire resistance. I'm sure it'd be fine. Uh. Is this all just camp supplies? I think it's all just... Yeah, okay, it's all just camp supplies. Oh well. Never mind. Pleasure to serve. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Okay. I don't see them down there. These are just citizens. The twins, I'm guessing. Can we go through there? Are we allowed? Or not? Gosh. Just walking through has stopped the music. Okay. Um, let's talk to him then. Enjoy the fiddling. Throw a few coins our way and let us play on into the night. Uh, right. Okay. Queen Roll the Despoiler. <laughs> Mephistopheles Tiefling. Okay, okay. And you? A drow? And a drow. Okay. I guess we can talk to them then. Why not? A new face. Looking for another chapter of Dirty Law for your biography? You have but to ask, and we can grant you a moment of pleasure. Don't be shy. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, how did you end up here? <laughs> Pl pulling this double act. Well, the only thing I really want is to know why you're here. I used to work as a courtesan back home, and my sister as an artisanal masseuse. But men are treated like dogs by the Underdark's matriarchs, so we fled. We found surfaces, craved the body of a drow like a drug. 
Life is easy in our line of work. That's okay, good for you. As long as you're here of your own free will. <laughs> yeah. You do you. I guess it's an easy way to make a living. As long as this is what you want to do. Life is prosperous. I'm much happier kissing the many lips of the surface than tending a field or manning a shop. Sure. Okay. Uh... <laughs> no. I think we're going. Yeah. Right. Well, good for you. Okay. Not you. Okay, okay. We have some people here that we can speak to. Is that just... That's just going straight back out. Okay. And all the citizens are congregating. That's fine. It's fine. Let's talk with you then. Borgus Elemin. The two men bark softly to each other. A single name reaches your ears. Nine fingers. It's a name you know. Yeah. Nine Fingers is the head of the guild, a criminal organization operating inside Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Uh, let's... Oh, God. Wisdom. <laughs> Wisdom. Damn it. Let's try some deception. Why not? I want to follow this. I want to follow this. I want to see if we'll actually be able to get in with the guild. We've got some good rep coming in from the uh, the people that we saved, so yeah. Hopefully our first interactions with them will uh, be positive. Did I hear you mention Nine Fingers? Got some business I need to lay down with her. I should be fine with that, look at that, plus 15. Go for it. Sweet, nice and easy. Oh yeah. Seems everyone's got business with her. Heard the gal met her match. The new kingpin. All meat and muscle, that one. And wild as a werebear. If he's looking to house nine fingers, my blade's got his back. Sounds messy as the ninth hell. Must be why she called us to help. Is that right? The way I heard it, you Zent cut a deal with the new... Hold on. Hey, you still lurking about? I don't remember inviting you to the party. Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I can rogue persuade. Just do a regular persuasion. Detect thoughts. God, I wish your wisdom was higher. I really wish your wisdom was higher. <laughs> or I can do a fighter persuasion. Um, let's play into a her rogue. I think we're gonna we're gonna go with number one. Well, like I said, I have business with nine fingers. I'm hoping to join the guild, in fact. And it sounds like you know where they are. So why don't you point me the way? Okay. Could only fail if I roll a one or a two. With advantage, I think it's extremely, <laughs> extremely unlikely that I would. But we'll get some guidance anyway <laughs> and go for it. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I'm so glad I got that guidance. I'm so glad I got that guidance. Oh. <laughs> Kelia! You're supposed to be good at this! Look, this subject's not safe. You selling your services, beat feet to the guild hall. Lower city, basilisk gate, guild hall. And that's all you're getting from me. Sweet, now, okay. The chat's officially closed. Sweet. Okay. Aid the Under Duke. So, 
Uh, we overheard some gossip at Charessa's Caress. Nine Fingers, leader of the city's criminal guild, is having her territory threatened by a new player on the scene, the Stone Lord. We should head to the guild hall to find out more. And we've helped some members of the city's criminal guild repulse an attack by a new player on the scene, the Stone Lord. It seems their operations are under a threat. We should head to the guild hall to find out more. So we know where it is now. We know where the guild hall is, technically. We've been pointed in the right direction anyway. Okay, well. We still need to get up. Can we go down as well? We can go down. We just have one chef down here. Okay. Ah, and there's another door to the study. Okay, okay. Well, let's go up the stairs. Gosh. Yep, we're definitely, definitely in Charessa's caress. I kind of, I kind of do want to speak to her. I kind of don't as well though. It's clear that Valeria has made up it, its mind about what the murderer, or who the murderer really was. And the only way to change it would be for us to lay out our evidence. But if we don't lay out our evidence, then the murders that we commit, if we, if we do go that way, shouldn't have anything to tie them to. There should be nothing there. Shouldn't have anything to be tied to. They'll just be random murders. Okay. Really? Okay. Well... Th it must be this then. It must be this. But those are locked, so... How are we supposed to... Seriously, where? Where? S deal with the devil. That's not Charessa's caress. Is it? We're connected by a walkway. Okay. Elminster's library. Moan loudly in the library at all times. Right, okay, not somewhere we need to go then. Um, Devil's Den? Devil's Den. And down here? Just a locked door, under dark room. God. Okay, well, somewhere around here is where we're supposed to be meeting him. Uh, well, this must be this must be where we're meeting uh, Raphael at least. So let's go in the only door that we're allowed into. Ah, that's Raphael and Voss. In the same room. Okay. Worrying, but okay. At least that makes it easier. It over. Much more than your fate and me. You must hear me, devil. I will do whatever it takes. Give you anything you ask. There is only one thing in this world that I desire. You do not have it. And you never will. It, okay. Kidrak, what deal would he make with this devil? Indeed, Lizzo. You must help me, Raphael. For the sake of my people. Hush now, Voss. These guests may not know it yet. But they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you, huh. they have something of value to offer in return. Lazel, to lack the gear. The devil holds the key to freeing the Gith people. Right here, right now. You could seal our fate. Huh. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room once you're loosed from his claws. Okay. 
Well, he was happy to uh, beg in front of us. That's interesting. I'm glad you came. Not to my door. Not yet. But to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin, though. Um... What? What are you doing to me? <laughs> what are you doing? For the first time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's unsettling. Ah, okay. okay. There's no way he would have cured me just like that. Not with how desperate we are to actually find a cure. Oh, well. How desperate we technically are. <laughs> Some of us seem to be uh, exhibiting signs of illithidness apart from the tadpole. <laughs> what did you do? Yeah. What was that? What did you do? I gave you back your privacy by shutting that illithid in your pocket out of your mind. It can't hear us. Okay. Okay. So if this is the first time since the Nautiloid, since it's been quiet, he really has been in my mind. He's not been, like, looking out from from in the, the, the prism. He's been looking out through my own eyes. <laughs> and listening with my ears. Ooh. I mean, when it... When it was revealed that he was an illithid, I, I suppose it's to be expected that that would be how how he would be keeping tabs on us. But still, having the confirmation right here, that's chilling. Uh, I kind of do trust the illithid more than I trust him. I kind of do. But that's only because there's a mutual need between Kelia and the illithid. There isn't with... Uh, Kelly and Raphael. Raphael might want something, but it's not a mutual need. That saying number one would kind of be an insult. We don't want to insult him any further than we may already have done. <laughs> let's just get let's just get the facts. Well, now that you feel safer, speak. Tell me why you wanted to see me here. I brought you here because I'm true to my word. And I can make all of this tadpole business go away. Which means you and your lovely friends can remain blessedly free of tentacles. Unless some have already sprouted in places I can't see. Well. <laughs> Let us speak plain. Mm. I'll admit, you've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far, but no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the Elder Brain. At best, it will kill you and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. That you have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. The netherstone? Oh, okay. Not the netherstone, then. Okay. Um. <laughs> the astral prism. The emperor or Orpheus. It's got to be Orpheus, doesn't it? It has to be Orpheus. You mean Orpheus. Very perceptive. Yes. He wants office. I can give you the means to break him free. Speak, devil. We're listening. Hmm, we are. We are. Why would I want to free him? No, we know why we want to free him. And Orpheus's guards tried to kill me because we have tadpoles. And we were kind of rushing in in response to the Emperor's summons, so... 
Besides, they're all dead. I don't need to hold that grudge against them. Just go on. Indeed. Go on. The Orphic Hammer. An artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus is held securely in my House of Hope, even now. Okay. Very convenient that you have exactly what I need, yeah. So that's what Kithrek Voss wanted from you. How convenient. Isn't it just? And it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what I want in return. Uh-huh. And what do you want? Literally just the tadpole? I find that hard to believe. And what do you want? Power. You free Orpheus, and in doing so, save the city, the Sword Coast, perhaps the whole world, and your own precious skin, too. Mm -hmm. And you give me the crown that dominates the Elder Brain. Ah, okay. And you, Lazel of Kalir, want to free the Forgotten Prince, do you not? I want nothing more. Then... It is settled, is it not? A crown for a hammer. A bargain of a lifetime, Lazel of Kilir. Uh. Okay. Okay. That's... Not saying anything about the tadpoles, though. Have the tadpoles been withdrawn from any kind of deal, then? A crown for a hammer. All we can- all we're gonna do with the hammer is free Orpheus. Maybe Orpheus would be able to save us from the tadpole? Maybe. But that's a bit of a gamble. We haven't even spoken to him. We don't know whether he can actually do anything. We know he can sever the, uh, the influence that an elder brain has over us and the the emperor is using Orpheus's power to prevent our transformation but that's just preventing the transformation that's not removing the tadpole I, I thought Raphael said that he could remove the tadpole but apparently not anymore <laughs> he, I guess he's moved on I guess the deal has just moved on it is tempting. It is tempting. Why is he so eager to get hold of the crown? I guess because there's someone he wants to dominate? We know what the crown of Carsus is. Gale has waxed poetic about it. It would be insane to give such a powerful artifact to the devil, but... Tell me why. Yeah. It's tempting, but tell me why. That's a very tempting deal. But why do you want the crown? What use could you have for it? I have craved it ever since the Archwizard Cassus created it long centuries ago and brought doom to the Empire of Netheril. That was the great age of humanity and Netheril's flying sky cities were the apex of civilization. I was there the day it all fell apart. Entire cities plummeted from the sky like angels with broken wings. The screams, oh, the screams. Hundreds of thousands of people watching in horror as the ground came up to meet them. <laughs> it was not a happy meeting. And Cassus yeah, was responsible. Not driven by malice, but by ambition. He forged a crown imbued with all the powers of magic. A crown that would make any who wore it a god. Men cannot contain so much power. The crown destroyed its creator, and his empire fell with him. Cassus's folly, the bards and scholars call it. I call it hope. The hope of creating a better world and the perils of unchecked hubris. I knew then 
that the folly of mortals could be the triumph of devils, and that I could use that crown to unite the Nine under one Archdevil Supreme, me. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. Wow. <laughs> Okay, okay. I appreciate the ambition. And the Crown of Casa suddenly sounds absolutely amazing, and why would I give it up when I could keep it myself? <laughs> I'm part devil. I could do it. I could do it. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. You'd make a fantastic arch devil supreme. <laughs> yeah, you would. I'm sure you would. Um, hey, why? Why do you think you could succeed where Cassus couldn't? Yeah. Why do you think you would succeed? What would you do differently? <laughs> Tell me. And okay, let's not tip your hand, Kellya. Let's not tip your hand. <laughs> Do you think you'd be able to use the crown of Cassus? Where even its creator couldn't? Why? I am no mortal! And I do not fail. Uh, okay, yeah. Then why didn't you get the crown way back when? Really? Well, it's been centuries since the fall of Netheril. Why didn't you just grab it then when everybody died? The archdevil Mephistopheles snatched up the crown and squirreled it away in one of his vaults. He is not more than a frigid archivist. So much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. I raged. But only for a decade or so. Then I waited ever watching for more than a thousand years for a mistake, a mishap, a misadventure. And these chosen, who have caused you so much trouble accidentally, did me a favor. They brought the crown back into play. Okay. Yeah, all right, they managed to steal it. They stole the crown. I don't want to rile him up further. But I do want to keep him talking. He is surprisingly forthcoming right now. Um, How did they get the crown, though? Yeah. It's still an arch devil that had it. And locked so securely away that Raphael couldn't grab it. They got the crown from Mephistopheles? How? Through the aid of a diabolist, somebody capable of opening a portal to the Hells. Deep in the Hells. They must have raided Mephistopheles' vault. Impressive, I must admit. But they'll be dead soon. If you don't kill them, the Elder Brain will. It doesn't have feelings in the way you'd understand them. <laughs> But it seems rather angry. It is inevitable. When you destroy the brain, and you will because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. Mm -hmm. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me. In exchange, I give you the hammer now. A simple transaction, mm -hmm. it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flare in your head. Take Raphael's deal and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. But there's no guarantee that Orpheus would be on your side. Exactly. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. He claims his ambition is to unite the Hells, but can he be trusted to stop there? Absolutely not. Do you trust him more than you trust the Emperor? Skvar! We should do as the Devil asks. The Prince of the Comet must rise again. Uh... 
Okay, okay. I do... I do want to get this crown. I want to get this crown. I don't want to give it to him. I... I do want... Mm, do I want a free Orpheus? Yes. Kind of. I'm enjoying the power that we've got. But who says that the uh, the power I've received will disappear once we get rid of the tadpole? I'm already changed slightly. So surely, technically, I should keep the power even if we lose the tadpole. I should still be able to fly <laughs> if we get the tadpole removed, surely. Um, I don't want to make this deal. I mean, why can't we just take the 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 hammer from Raphael? If we know a diabolist, apparently, if there's a diabolist out there who can make a a portal to the hells, then why can't we just nip into the House of Hope and steal it from Raphael? That would be a better idea, really. I don't want to make a deal with the devil, basically. I'd rather do anything else. But really, Lizelle's not going to be happy if we say no. It can't be the only way. It can't be the only way to free Orpheus, surely. I'm not sure I want to give away my new objective <laughs> and I'm definitely not sure I want to say I want to destroy the crown I think I'd just say no deal nothing about this is certain the only certainty I have right now is that the Emperor is protecting us and will continue to do so because as much as I love Lazelle <laughs> this is about Kellia <laughs> not not Lizelle and her entire race. This is about Kellia. And Kellia's just had a fancy new power crown dangled in front of her eyes. She's not giving it up. Lizelle's gonna hate me, but our relationship with her is completely... It's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. So I'm hopeful that whatever hit we take with our relationship, we will be able to come back from it. But I can't take the deal I don't think so I think your deal is too good to be true I'm not taking it Raphael I won't stop you but time is running out so don't stay away for long if you see reason I'll be here waiting right up to the moment the world ends Okay, so we can always change our mind. We can always change our mind. And Lizelle is really angry. <laughs> sure. Um, deal with Devil. We've refused Raphael's deal, but he said he'll still be there if we reconsider. The offer remains open. Um, we learned that the key to freeing Orpheus from his chains in the Astral Prism is the Orphic Hammer. It's in Raphael's possession, so tracking down his lavish abode in the Hells, the House of Hope, may be our best bet. Yes, okay, we can actually track down his house. We can do that. That's awesome. That is awesome. I would much rather do that than make a deal with Raphael. Um, we saw Kithrak Voss and the devil Raphael having a heated conversation. Raphael must know something about the key to freeing the prisoner from the Astral Prism. Raphael proposed a deal. If he gives us the Orphic Hammer, the key to freeing Orpheus, we give him the Crown of Carsus once we defeat the Elder Brain. We refused. We should probably talk to Voss, who's waiting in Charest's caressed tap room. Alright. Gith Yankee Warrior. Um, we found Kithrite Voss arguing with Raphael. Uh, yep. Raphael informed us that he has the means to free Orpheus. He offered it to us in exchange for a diabolical pact, but we refused him. We should talk to Lizelle about the way forward. And the Wizard of Waterdeep. Okay, Gail wants to go... Yes, he wanted to go um, library hunting. Okay. 
I spoke with the devil Raphael who told me that he seeks a legendary Netherese artifact, the crown of Carsus. Could this be the crown worn by the Elder Brain? Well, yeah, we know. We know that it is. We know that it is. Okay. Lizelle, let's let's bite the bullet here. Oh, whoops. The means to loosing the prince of the comet was within our grasp, and you refused it. Why? Yeah, we can take the hammer without taking a deal. I also really don't trust <laughs> <laughs> really don't want Raphael to become the Arch Devil Supreme. Um, yeah. We don't need to make a deal with him. We can just take the hammer. I can't believe he told me that. I can't believe he told me that it's possible to just open a portal into the hells, into one of the most secure places ever, and steal something. <laughs> like, did he not think that that would spark ideas? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We don't need to take the deal, Lizelle. I think I had the box for a minute. The hammer's been stolen before. It's more than possible for us to do that too. I wanted to follow the open valley, the easy way out. You chose the bramble path. I'm annoyed by it. And I admire you for it. Damn right, you speak with Voss. <laughs> <laughs> then we find our way to Raphael's House of Hope. We'll take the Orphic Hammer and use it to smash the true heir's bonds. Yisk Githkar Chafki crash it. The Githyanki will be free. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. We have... We have a plan. We have a plan now. That is awesome. And she's so on board with it. I seem to constantly underestimate Lizelle. I really do. After refusing Raphael's diabolical pact, Lizelle suggested we talk to Kithrek Voss. He might know another way to free Orpheus from his prison. Well, <laughs> as long as he knows a diabolist, we should be golden. Really. 